is Jonathan Angov here for Seconds Out. I'm joined by Sonny Edwards, holder of two of those belts over there. What do you make of it? Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, I was, I didn't really get our first gear. I feel like it showed as well. Um, don't get me wrong, it was tough when he was there, and I had to stay switched on. But if I wanted to, I could have just jabbed the move, jabbed the move, jabbed the move, because he was firing too wide. And for my style, if you start throwing out of range, I'll edge back and I'll just hit you as you're coming back up. And that's what I did. In the seventh round, I think it was, I threw my best shot in the fight. I slipped his jab for a right hand straight across his jaw. But as you can see, my hands ballooned up and it, it did really hurt. Um, so I think you saw me shake it out a bit and then I just went on a jab and, and did what I had. No injury with that hand over there? No, nah, um, just, it was just swollen. That only happened in, in one round and I just thought I'd protect it. Like, it's still sore now, but do you know what I mean? This, this is boxing, you're going to have sore hands after a fight. But um, it was hurting enough to stop me from throwing it because every time I did, I, I winced a bit. But I'm lucky that I've had, for my last fight, Gallardo, I injured my hand seven weeks out and five weeks I'd sparred all one-handed. So I know if I do one of my hands, I have got another one, I can, I can use it, do you know what I mean? So I think when I go one-handed, I, I don't get hit. I, I, I don't really get hit when I go on one hand. So yeah, like I said, I, I enjoyed it and, and everything went to plan. Now you remain unbeaten. Where does that victory rank in your career so far? Um, I feel like... People are going to start getting bored because that seemed to be the pattern of my last five fights in a row now. You know, little bits of class, elusiveness, making them miss a lot, making them miss wide, um, staying out of trouble and, and, and letting my hands go as and when. Unfortunately, I didn't get to turn the screw this fight, you know, because my hand, like I said, it hurt. So I went all on a jab in the last few rounds. But I, like I said, I want the, the big fights, you know what I mean? I want the big fights. I, I can't, you know, rock up wearing, looking like this and then just try and fight journeyman or my fight. You know, not, not that he was, he was very tough. But I feel like I looked a lot bigger as a flyweight than I did as, as a super fly. Um, I felt physically stronger than him, but the, the kick will whack a bit. So, you know what I mean? I didn't really give him any chance to land. But you know what you're getting with these Mexicans. They're very hard. And if you're in front of them, they punch you. It's simple. Eh? I'm speaking to your brother Charlie just a minute ago. He said you are definitely at world level at the moment. Does that mean the world championship fights are pretty, pretty near at this stage? I mean, I think that's high praise. Maybe a little bit generous because um, I haven't proved myself at world level. And for me, you might be able to operate it, but until you prove it, then then you, then you're not simply. Um, but then again, Charlie's mixed at world level. He's had a few world level fights, and 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 he's obviously current world champion. So <laughs> I suppose he knows as good as anyone. But I feel like I've got a lot of learning to do. Um, I was uh, what's it? I was slipping off a little bit there and um, getting caught with silly shots that against a world level puncher you're not getting away with, do you know what I mean? I was sort of jumping out the way of shots and, and he was catching me to the body. But like I said, I, I, I didn't get out of first gear so I weren't you know, completely focused. Not that I, I slipped off, but yeah, I, I, like I said, I enjoyed it and I do want to push up to world level and try and prove myself there. But until I do that, then I'm you know, international level. That's why I got all these international titles. And what did you make of the weigh-in? Obviously he gave you a little gift at the weigh-in. Bit, bit different to the usual. Well, yeah, he came with a little Mexican, like, it's like a ball in the cup, but it's not a ball in the cup. It's like a big, heavy thing that trying to land on a little stick. And then we asked him what it does after, and he, and he went, whoom, straight away. I've sat there for like half an hour today trying to do it and couldn't do it once. So I think I'll get the hang of it. But, um, yeah, I was hoping that it weren't cursed. You know, he might have put some spell on it, but he gave me a Mexican flag as well. So I think he was just in, glad to be part of it. I think he did genuinely think he was going to win, and he really, you know, I feel like he knew my hand hurt in the, in the last thing, so he really tried putting it on, but my engine is, is very good. When I want to nick a rest, I'll nick a rest. Like, there was not one time he was in trouble. Even I was tying him up, walking him back. That's just, you know, sort of get in the middle of the ring and then we start again, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, obviously, probably early to say at the moment, but what's the plan going forward? Are you looking to have maybe one more fight before the end of the year? Oh, definitely, definitely. I can't have my year end in September, do you know what I mean? Um, like I said, I, I've been the busiest championship Britain fighter in the last 11 months I've had five fights all 10 10 round title fights all on TV um, I'm looking to get another one by the end of the year simple as um, I can't see there being no chance of me not getting it you know Frank Warren BT they're liking what I'm doing when I'm fighting um, I haven't looked at the response you know to that fight but it tends to be more positive than negative uh, for my last fights and I don't feel like that was any different I think I showed a little bit more in there as of class and making a miss by little margin so hopefully it looks good on TV and hopefully I get another out in very very soon Sonny congratulations on tonight and we look forward to seeing you out soon <laughs> cheers